Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our celebration of this memorial mass of St. Martin of Tours, bishop, a third century or early fourth century saint, the first one who is not a martyr. Today's intention is being offered for the repose of the souls of Hong Li, Al Kuntz, and for the special intention of Joseph Rodriguez. Entrance antiphone. I shall raise up for myself a faithful priest who will, who will act in accord with my heart and my mind, says the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who are glorified in the Bishop St. Martin, both by his life and death, make new, we pray, the wonders of your grace in our hearts that neither death nor life may separate us from your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, remind them to be under the, the control of magistrates and authorities, to be obedient, to be open to every good enterprise. They are to slander no one, to be peaceable, considerate, exercising all graciousness toward everyone. For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, deluded, slaves to various desires and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful ourselves and hating one another. But when the kindness and generous love of God, our Savior, appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there's nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there's nothing I shall want. 
only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There's nothing I shall want. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We also remember the veterans today here in the United States. For those who continue to put their lives on the line to protect our peace and our freedom. And so, in a sense, they too are doing God's will by offering their own lives for the sake of others. We hear that also from the letter of St. Paul to Titus, reminding the people, the early Christians, about how the grace of God was instrumental in bringing or changing their lives from being hateful to being able to care for one another. And also the promise of eternal life. In the midst of that, we hear from the gospel reading Jesus being obedient to the will of his father on their way to Jerusalem so that he can accomplish the, the plan of salvation where he will then eventually offer his life so that we may live. But in the course of his journey, Jesus showed the compassion of the Father to those in need of healing, like the lepers in the story that we heard. What that means, or what, what is that saying to you? It means that even though God has this bigger plan to save us, the whole world, yet he is still concerned about the little things that we have, the, we, the need that we have. In particular, maybe you know, this uh, during this time of pandemic, there are many concerns that we have. And I know that God listens, and he knows best what to offer each and every one of us. Then there's also one aspect in the story that we heard that one of the ten on their way to obe being obedient, following Jesus' command to show themselves to the priest, one of them realized that they've been healed, went back to the Lord. And what that means also is that even in our living the faith and being obedient to the Lord, we can go back to him as always and enter into a, a loving relationship, being close to him. And that's an invitation, even though you know, sometimes we are so concerned or preoccupied with the, the, the things that that God has asked us to do, even as simple as maybe reaching out to somebody or list, just being offering a listening ear to somebody who's going through some difficult time. But yet, 
were asked to come to him, to be close, to have a loving personal relationship. And that is important because the more we have that sense of closeness, the better we're able to reflect the goodness and the love that God has offered us. And in fact, being saved, we can also bring others to be saved in Christ Jesus, love and sacrifice. And so is St. Martin of Tours. He dedicated his service doing God's will, but yet being close to the Lord. That's why he is the first saint who is not a martyr, considered because of his very close relationship with the Lord and his willingness to do everything for his sake. Today is an opportunity for us to do the same, grateful to the blessings that God has given us, but willing to share what we receive to others. Please stand. Recognizing the goodness of God who gives us all good things, we confidently bring our prayers to him. For Pope Francis and all leaders of the church, may Christ draw them ever closer to himself, we pray to the Lord. For political leaders all over the world, but particularly here in our country, May God guide them in protecting the dignity of all, especially the unborn and the aged. Let us pray to the Lord. For the dying and all who bear the burden of sickness, especially those affected by coronavirus, may they share in and know the love of Christ. We pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here and those of, us, those of you joining us through this live streaming, may God grant us the grace to see his goodness in others. We pray to the Lord. For all our veterans, especially those who are in harm's way, that God will protect them and keep them close to himself. And also for those who are um, have been given furlough to, to come home that they may enjoy uh, the visit that they will have with their families. For these, we pray to the Lord. For those who have died, especially the veterans who ultimately gave their lives for the country, for the repose of the souls of Hong Le and Al Kuntz, and for all the souls whose names we offer on this altar during this um, month of November, for all souls that they may enjoy eternal life with the saints and angels in heaven, we pray to the Lord. And for our own intentions that we now pray in silence. For all these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of power and healing, we bring you these prayers today, knowing that you are generous. Hear our prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Sanctify these offerings, we pray, Lord God, which we joyfully present in honor of St. Martin, so that through them our life may always be directed, whether in tribulation or in prosperity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Martin of Tours, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the two fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Hong and Al, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially those whose names we offer on the altar, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Martin of Tours, with St. Peter Claver, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Would you please sit down at this time? For those joining us in the live streaming, let us now say the act of spiritual communion. And for those of you here who are not able to receive, you may say this with me. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant to us, who have been restored by this sacrament of unity, O Lord, perfect harmony with your will in all things, that just as St. Martin submitted himself entirely to you, so we too may glory in being truly yours. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Once again, thank you for coming and those of you joining us in live streaming, and especially those who are in other country joining us. And thanks also to our uh, tech people in making sure that we live stream this mass. I also want to thank our ushers or those who have helped you enter into this to the church, making sure that you observe the protocol and be safe as we stay here. And most especially, I want to thank those who will clean the church after the Mass. Thank you. I just want to acknowledge the presence of our sisters, sisters of the Sacred Heart, correct, at the val down in the valley. And thank you for jo joining our community. Appreciate your loving presence. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.